in this video i am going to explain about uh, fortigate zones what is zone and how to configure zones in fortigate firewall right so as you can see that here i have written some points related to fortigate zones if i talk about zones zones are a group right zones are a group of one or more physical or virtual interfaces that you can apply security policies to control inbound and outbound traffic and uh, you can use security policies to control the flow of intra zone traffic and uh, when you create a zones either you select the name of interfaces or vlan sub interfaces to add the zone right in zone could be one or more physical interfaces or virtual interfaces but in this lab i will configure zone with the help of sub interfaces and uh, in upcoming video i will show you how to add uh, physical interfaces in zones right so if i talk about zones zones is nothing but it provides simplicity while configuring the security policies in fortigate firewall so as you can see that here i have written with the help of zones we can simplify firewall policies let's suppose why we uh, need uh, zones in fortigate firewall let's suppose there are different different uh, different different zones i mean vlans in behind the fortigate firewall as you can see that in lan zone there are uh, there are three vlans right vlan 10 and vlan 20 and vlan 30 so it will not be easy if we configure fortigate uh, security policies right if we configure zones so it will be more easy as we want right so as you can see that if i talk about my lab what i have designed so as you can see that let me show you there are four vlans i mean this is the uh, DMZ zone, right? This is the web server zone. Let's assume, but in my topology, I am using a uh, VPC, right? So just assume that this is my web server, I mean web zone, right? DMZ zone. And uh, this server is accessible from the internet, right? That's why I have placed this uh, web server uh, behind the DMZ zone, right? So if I talk about LAN zone, as you can see that this part will be the LAN zone, right? So there are three different different VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. These VLANs are different different subnet, right? And the name of the VLANs, if I talk about VLAN 10 application zone, if I talk about VLAN 20, this is the DB, DB zone. And if I talk about address zone, so this is the VLAN 30 and these are the uh, VLANs are different different subnet. I will configure zones, right? First, I will configure sub interfaces in FortiGate firewall. After that, I will add this sub interfaces in zones. Then I create policy, right? So if I talk about intra zone, so I will show you while configuring the intra zone, right? Why we a need intra zone right if let's suppose uh, application zone and uh, vlan uh, help desk zone wants to communicate to each other so i will opt that option right so we don't no need to configure any policy in particular firewall this i mean application zone and uh, help desk zone will communicate to each other without any policy right if i turn off the uh, option in FortiGate firewall while configuring the security policy. I mean zone, right? So after that, I will talk about if WAN zone. This FortiGate firewall is connected to the WAN ISP, right? Right. And this ISP, I mean connected to my uh, to my Wi-Fi network. And uh, you, you will see that uh, if I ping, let me show you one thing, right? So as you can see that this is the my lab. From this lab, I will show you how to configure zones in FortiGate firewall, right? So let me take the console of FortiGate firewall. What I want to show you. 
So as you can see that I have taken console of FortiGate firewall. If I log in it, admin password one two three. So if I ping educate a dot e dot e dot it, as you can see that I am able to reach Google DNS. That it means my internet is working in my FortiGate firewall. So let's configure zones, uh, right? Let me show you the. UI of FortiGate Firewall. So as you can see that I have I got the UI of FortiGate Firewall, right? So username, admin, password one two three. If I show you the interface configuration, so as you can see that except two interfaces, I mean port one which is connected to the WAN, right? This is the DSCP IP address, right? Which FortiGate have taken, and uh, this is the uh, management port. I mean, from this port, uh, I am accessing the GUI of the FortiGate firewall, right? Let me change the name of this uh, port. So as you can see that I have changed the name of this port, right, for identification. So this is the management interface. So now I am going to configure SVI, right? So in order to configure SVI, first you need to go to create interface, right? Let me show you from the starting point. So in order to configure sub interfaces, you have to go to network option, right? Then there is an option net interfaces, then go to create or new option, then create interface, right? So I am going to configure sub interfaces. So let's follow me what I'm going to do. And uh, as you can see that, let me show you. Port two is the LAN interface, which is connected to the switch, right? That's why I will take for all the VLANs. I mean VLAN ten and VLAN twenty. Port two, right? Oh, oops, this is wrong. Let me change it.
so as you can see that three SBI has been created. Let me change this name also, right? Because I have taken different different submit as you can see that, right? Ten dot ten, right? So let me change the IP address of this SBI. So as you can see that three sub interfaces has been created, right? So now I'm going to configure one more SVI for DMZ interface. This is the port three, right? VLAN port three. So as you can see the under port three, uh, DMZ, uh, DMZ sub interface has been created, right? So now uh, let me verify that uh, this SVI uh, are able to access from this LAN zone. Let me in first one. I am turning one by one of this machine. Turning on. So as you can see that I got the console, let me ping, ping 10.10.10, yes, I am able to reach my gateway, ping 10, 10.1.20.10, right, so as you can see that I am able to ping, Let me check what is the IP address. So 10, 1, 20, 10. From the DB, 10, 1, 20, 10, yes, I am able to reach. Let me pin from here. 30.10, yes, I am able to reach. Let me check from the DMZ as well as from the DMZ machine. Yes, I am able to reach, right? So, as you can see that uh, this is a not correct IP address. Let me change the IP address as well. Yes, now it is able to ping.
Yes, it is also ringing. So till now everything is working fine. So now I am going to create zone. I will add these sub interfaces in the different different zone. So in my topology there are four zones: right? application zone, DB zone, and help desk zone, along with uh, DMZ zone. Right. So now I am going to create zones. Right. So as you can see that what I was talking about uh, five minutes ago. So if this option will be on, so different different zones, I mean different different sub interfaces will not communicate to each other. So I am going to turn on right now. So I will add one SBI which is the application VLAN, right? Which belong to the application zone, right? So As you can see that application zone has been created and I am going to create zone for DB. or help desk, right? So, as you can see that one more thing I want to tell you, you can add physical sub interfaces right here, right? You can add multiple interfaces, but right now I am uh, doing lab for uh, the sub interfaces. That's why I am adding uh, SBI in this interface member. So, as you can see that I'm going to add help desk, right? This help desk, uh, uh, this help desk VLAN is the part of help desk zone, right? So as you can see that three zone has been created, one more zone I have to create for DMZ, right? So as you can see that Four zone has been created, right? If you click on this option, so as you can see that this zone, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, application VLAN, right? This is the sub interface which belongs to the old application zone, right? So you can scroll down, right? Just click on this option. You can check all the configuration what I did, right? So now I'm going to create security policies, right? Let me show you topology. Now I'm going to create policy, right?
Let me check why mouse is doing this one. So now I am going to create policy, right? So let me show you one thing in this topology. So I will create a policy for uh, the help desk. Help desk app zone can be communicate to the internet, right? If this uh, if this user, I mean help desk department want to communicate to the internet, this can communicate, right? I will allow. Uh, for application department can communicate to the DMZ zone and the database department can communicate only the application zone, right? So let me create the policy. So for policy, in order to configure policy, you will have to go to IPv4 policy then create new as you can see that there is a default policy implicitly deny right now i'm going to create policy right so for help desk department help desk department can communicate to the internet right right i will select the interface Incoming interface, Inter incoming interface will be the help desk zone, right? And outgoing interface will be the WAN zone, right? So source will be all in my case, right? But you can configure as your per requirement, right? I'm doing lab, that, that's why I'm going to allow source and destination all and services also all, right? So, but in your case, you can a specific, a specific host uh, can allow, right? So all session, then okay. So as you can see that one interface and uh, one policy has been created. Just a bit, as you can see that. Right, second policy, I'm going to create it uh, for application zone can communicate only the web zone, I mean web server, right? F2 web right incoming interface application and outgoing interface will be the dmz right zone source i'm going to be all i'm going to keep it all a destination also all right then allow this is the land to land communication that's i am going to disable net right then okay And uh, I'm going to dis uh, one I'm going to create one more policy. Let me check. So as you can see that two policy has been created, right? One more policy I'm going to create. DB zone can communicate only application zone, right? DB DB to application, right? Incoming interface with DV zone and outgoing interface will be the application source. I'm going to allow all and destination is also all. Right. This is the land to land communication. That's why I'm going to off this option. Right. All session. Then OK. 
so as you can see that three policy has been created right so here it is showing one just you will refresh then it will show so as you can see there is no traffic right so once you uh, will the come uh, once you will check i mean from the ping command then here you can uh, check the communication also right there is no logs right so let's check that whether my configuration has been done or not so as you can see that this i mean application zone can communicate only the web server and database server can communicate only application server and help desk can communicate only the internet that's it right so let's from the from the application zone let's check it out right so as you can see this is the application right let me show you the ip address as well as so that you can easily understand so i will ping from the application zone right from here to this ip i mean this machine 10.1.40.1 and from this machine i will ping 10.1.1 and from this machine i will check the internet right google dns as well so let's verify it so here i will check ping n.1.40.1 so as you can see that i am able to ping right it is working fine if i want to ping if i if this server i mean application server wants to communicate database server so communication communication will not be happen because i haven't allowed any policy right i mean i haven't configured any policy let me ping 10.1.20.1 so as you can see that this getting time out right so let's ping from this machine i am a db to application so ping 10.1.10.1 so as you can see that i am able to ping right from this machine so from this machine i mean application zone i mean from the help desk zone i want to communicate to the internet so ping 8.8.8.8 so as you can see that i am able to reach google dns if i want to ping from the application zone to the google dns and from the database zone, zone communication will not be happen because i haven't configured any policy right so ping 8.8.8.8 so as you can see that i am getting the time out let's ping from here also ping n dot sorry 8.8.8.8.8 right so getting time out so if i want to if help desk department wants to communicate to the application department or database department or db department communication will not happen right because i haven't configured any policy in 10.1.10.1 so as you can see that getting time out if i ping 20.2 20.1 sorry yeah we see that db machine ip address if i ping dmz 40.1 so as you can see that getting time out request so let me show you the log as well as so as you can see that i am getting the traffic right i am getting the log as well as so it has been proved whatever configuration i did here is working fine everything is working fine so i hope you understand the how to configure zones and uh, how to configure policy right and how to add uh, some interfaces in zones right so in this video i have gone through the sub interfaces right in next video i will configure how to add uh, if you have a uh, redundant interfaces i mean if you want to uh, add uh, two different different physical interface in a single zone then how can you add right so
as you can see that this is the my topology this is the basic basic simple uh, topology i will want to recall again why do we create zones basically we create zones it it provides simplicity while configuring the security policy I, 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 as i as i as you seen that it is it is very simple when i when i use zones right so thank you for watching this video i hope you understand what what i whatever i have configured in this topology right so as you can see that there is a zone right so thank you for watching this video if you have understood anything from this video please like share and subscribe my channel and if you have any kind of doubt whatever i have configured in this lab so please mm, comment so that i can improve my technical skills as well as so thank you again for watching this video till the end